I'm back again. It's Fafa here and welcome to my creative African cooking channel in Dudu by Fafa where the shenanigans happen. I said 2019 Wow, pick condensed milk toffee, caramel toffee. It's gonna be chewy, it's gonna be medium, it's just gonna be so in Dudu by Fafa. Stay tuned. Now if this is your first time, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification button, which means that you do not miss anything. Whenever I upload a new video, you're notified of it, just like that. And to my notification gang, hey, what me? Hey, you be a you be Odolastic, odolastic, hey, 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 I come up on a bar. Hmm, condensed milk toffee. I'm quite level, sir. I quit that. Oh, all a rapper. I'm looking at my Oh, my pocket. I remember my pony. I'm going to share with that. Oh, we are a joke. A joke. Anyway, let's start cooking. What's today? Hmm, we say that you create the other day. You wear condensed toffee. What a pet. You better have a hmm. Of course, but that did it first. So I'm going to start by melting some coconut oil um, in my saucepan. You can use butter if you wish, but I like that coconutty flavor when I'm making my condensed milk toffee. Definitely. So I'm going to be cooking this or melting this on a medium to low heat because I want to retain that flavor. I don't want to like burn anything yet. And to that, I'm going to add my condensed milk. You can find your tin of condensed milk in most supermarkets. They are readily available. And yeah, just grab a tin and here we go. I'm just adding that, making sure that you scrape through it. Um, there is no waste in my kitchen, as I always say. So make sure that you actually scrape everything into your saucepan. And I'm gonna be mixing this till it's well combined, as I always say. Now it's imperative that you do use a heavy bottomed saucepan and also that you do add some grease to this. This will prevent the mixture from sticking to the bottom of your pan. And of course you do need to constantly stir this mixture and maintain a medium heat. What you're trying to do is get the moisture to evaporate from the mixture so that it can caramelize. And what that means is you end up with your beautiful toffee. I would also talk you through how to get that chewy texture or equally that hard wappy texture as well. Now clearly, because you'll be cooking this on that medium to low heat, it means that it would take at least about 10 to 12 minutes to get to the stage. This is because you're regulating the temperature and you're manipulating it to cook just the way you would like it to cook. You know, when you do cook on high heat, the tendency of the thing burning is high and you can't come back from it. So it's best to take your time to get to that perfect point. Now, the next thing I'm going to add to this is the juice of a lemon. I'm going to add just about a teaspoonful. Now, when you do get your lemons, it's best to get your unwaxed organic lemon because that's the best, I'd say. Um, but in the unlikely event you can afford to get the organic, just make sure it's unwaxed. Um, yeah, because with the waxed one, it has all chemicals around the skin and stuff, and you just definitely don't want that at all. Now, the best way to get the juice out of your lemon is to massage it. And once you do that, it's so easy because you cut that in half and when you just squeeze it with just a little pressure, you can see the juice coming through. So as I mentioned, I'm going to add just about half a teaspoonful of that to my mixture. Now, because the condensed milk is rather sweet, what the juice of the lemon does is it balances that flavor. You can add salt, but I prefer to use the juice of a lemon to it. So yet again, I'm maintaining that medium heat to now cook this and as you can tell it's actually getting thicker now the moisture is evaporating so at this point it's going to start caramelizing now this is where you need to be staring for like mother ghana <laughs> did i just say that yes because immediately starts to brown it takes less than a minute um, and then it browns and at that point you know it is hot so please do take all necessary precautions when you're dealing with it 
Now it's good that I'm using this spatula um, because it helps as well but equally you can use your wooden spoon it's not a problem. And so yeah just within a minute it's browning and I now know that I need to get my chopping board ready. What I've done is I've greased my chopping board with some coconut oil as well. So it means that once this is ready I'm going to transfer it to the chopping board allow it to cool slightly that is easy for me to touch and then i can roll it into the different shapes and sizes now the length of this video is it's quite long and i just want to shorten it so i'm going to do another video showing you how to make the chewy version which is similar to this but of course you know it does have my little twist so at this point i just know that my caramel is ready so I've turned the heat off um, because the residual heat can work now and I've got my chopping board as I mentioned earlier that is greased ready. So I'm going to transfer this beautiful caramelized mixture onto my chopping board as you can see now. Now at this point I'm just manipulating my caramel dough may I say and this A is supposed to help it cool down quickly so it's easy for me to touch then I can roll it into my preferred shape. Now, at this point, when it starts to cool down, it hardens quickly, so you are against time to do so. I had some lollipop sticks that I got from my local supermarket, and I was like, oh, well, how about inserting some lollipop sticks into this, you know? And I can just be enjoying my Agatha condensed milk toffee. Now, Agatha, when, like, during my childhood, it was a lollipop. I don't know if it was a famous brand or so, but it was like, yeah, I want Agatha toffee. That was it. Anyway, so race it against time. Uh, what I'm trying to do is shape this. Now, cutting it diagonally, as you can see here, is like the standard way that one does it. And I definitely needed um, a sharper knife to do so. And of course, when it's still soft, it's a little bit flimsy when you're trying to cut it through, but you just need to stick to it. And in terms of the shape, you can be creative, you know, as I say. Um, look at this, I was just like, yeah. This will be a good one. Um, <laughs> whatever it is that I'm doing, just rolling it and just creating a different shape. And I think that's the fun part about it. It's such a great thing to gift to your family and friends, and especially with that nostalgic feeling, you know, you're taking them down memory lane. But when you actually make or design things in this different manner, um, it's thoughtful. So it's quite nice to, you know, gift it. And equally, it's just nice for you to sit down and just savor this. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, so these are just ideas that, you know, you can um, create, but equally, you can still maintain the standard shape, not a problem. And at this point, I was like, oh, let me just do like this whole sort of like an ice cream looking one. And I just rolled it and just twisted it. And yeah, I ended up with it. You see, it's fun. You know what I mean? Guess who's gonna have that one? <laughs> anyway. This is a candy that your kids definitely will enjoy. However, it's not a child-friendly process because you are manipulating with heat. So most definitely do not involve them when you're making it. But in terms of the shape, you know, I think that it'll be quite exciting to see you do it. Um, it's fun and it's part of it and you can give them the history about it. You know, go down memory lane with them. That's the whole point of this. The whole point is to remind them how we grew up. You know, it's fun. Things have changed for them. There's, you know, technology. So they do miss on things like this. But yeah, I mean, as I said, just be creative with the shape and you are going to be working against time. So once this is done, you can sterilize your jar and you can reserve this. However, I've got the other recipe which I was talking to you about, um, which makes a soft and chewy one. And I can't wait to share that with you. I mean, this thumbnail one, that's just like, you know what I mean? It's, it's just jeh. When I always say this is not any other food, this is not any other food. This is Zindu Dubai for Fa Kitchen Yedia 2019. Condensed milk and social yeah. Eh? Kitchen go with eh. Indu Dubai Fafa menye ya. Condensed milk kumya we kumya rude kaba kaba kumya dia. Bonuka wamalada. Akalaka na nyanyaga but indu Dubai Fafa boy vinaba. 
Anamakwe. To bale a ke ndu dubai fafa no bai he. Ko des book to fina fi o le smo so na ba ro ke ke ba shape le fi ekumo ni bi fi ne ni a fi. Oh, boy fi noko. I hope you are inspired to try this recipe definitely. What was I saying? I was just saying oh yeah. Simple condensed milk. Look how far I've taken it to like manipulating it and creating all these shapes and sizes. As I said, this is an inspirational video. You can omit it. You can just think outside the box and do whatever pleases you. That's the choice you have to make. Now, I'll be leaving the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in Dudu by Fafata.blogspot.com. So do check it out. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter as in Dudu by Fafa. So do pass by and say hi. Until next time, take care of you. Be nice, be beautiful, be your gorgeous self. Whatever you do, put your best foot forward. Do it for you. Because when you do it for you, you have an aura, an aura of success. Until next time, take care. We love you. Mm.